Iranian government spokesman Ali Bahadori Jeromi says the country plans to order three more versions of the Qayyum satellite with the cooperation of Iranian scientists. In a tweet on Thursday, he said the stabilization process of the satellite, dubbed Qayyum after a 12th-century Persian polymath, was done successfully. He added that Iranian knowledge-based companies will be able to use its images and data in various fields. As Iran's homegrown attempts at putting satellites into orbit have largely failed due to its technological limitations. Russia agreed to build and launch the Canopus V Earth observation satellite that can resolve features as small as 3.9 feet, 1.2 meters, on Earth's surface, at a cost of about $40 million, in a deal negotiated nearly four years. Iran claims it was designed by the country's scientists, but it is one of a series of satellites developed by the All-Russian Scientific Research Institute of Electromechanics. Russia launched the controversial satellite into space Tuesday, August 9, from its Baikonur space station in Kazakhstan as planned. The satellite sparked controversy last week when the Washington Post quoted two Western security officials as saying that Moscow intends to use the space platform for several months or longer to enhance its surveillance of military targets for its war in Ukraine and Iran may not be able to take control of the satellite right away. Iran's space agency denied the report on August 7, saying the satellite will be fully operated and controlled by the Islamic Republic from inside Iran. Kayyam, apparently named after the 11th-century Persian polymath Omar Kayyam, will not be the first Iranian satellite that Russia has put into space. In 2005, Iran's Sina-1 satellite was deployed from Russia's Plesetsk Cosmodrome. Iran is currently negotiating with world powers, including Moscow, to salvage a 2015 deal aimed at training in Tehran's nuclear ambitions. The United States which quit the landmark Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action or JCPOA under then-President Donald Trump in 2018, has accused Iran of effectively supporting Russia's war against Ukraine while adopting a veil of neutrality. During his meeting with Putin last month, Iran's Khomeini called for long-term cooperation with Russia, and Tehran has refused to join international condemnation of Moscow's invasion of its pro-Western neighbor. Iran insists its space program is for civilian and defense purposes only and does not breach the 2015 nuclear deal or any other international agreement. Western governments worry that satellite launch systems incorporate technologies interchangeable with those used in ballistic missiles, capable of delivering a nuclear warhead, something Iran has always denied wanting to build. Iran successfully put its first military satellite into orbit in April 2020, drawing a sharp rebuke from the United States. The purpose of Qayyum is to monitor the country's borders, enhance agricultural productivity, and monitor water resources and natural disasters, the space agency said. In a pre-launch statement on Monday, ISA praised the higher reliability factor of the Soyuz launcher.
due to KM satellite's weight of more than half a ton and the very high success rate of the Soyuz launcher, the launch of the KM satellite has been entrusted to Russia, the statement on the space agency's website noted. As Moscow's international isolation grows under the weight of Western sanctions over Ukraine, the Kremlin is seeking to pivot Russia towards the Middle East, Asia and Africa, and find new clients for the country's embattled space program. Russian President Vladimir Putin met Iranian counterpart Ebrahim Raisi and Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei in Tehran last month, one of his few trips abroad since the invasion began. Iran, which has maintained ties with Moscow and refrained from criticism of the Ukraine invasion, has sought to deflect suspicions that Moscow could use KM to spy on Ukraine. Last week, U.S. daily The Washington Post quoted anonymous Western intelligence officials as saying that Russia plans to use the satellite for several months or longer to assist its war efforts before allowing Iran to take control. But the Iranian space agency said on Sunday that the Islamic Republic would control the KM satellite from day one. No third country is able to access the information sent by the satellite due to its encrypted algorithm it said.